Hello, Leo. Welcome to 811 Moon. This is your mid-October reading. And I'd like to thank everyone who has subscribed. I truly, truly appreciate you. And for those who have, are joining me for the first time, I encourage you to subscribe and like this video so other people can find it. And I hope to see you again in another video. So Leo, what do you have going on? Let's see, health, wealth, love, money, what do we got going on? Leo, 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 Leo. Now uh, we got another one. Oh, four swords. Let's see, so one more card for Leo. Whoop. Eight of Wands, some fast moving energy for Leo. Let's see what the mystery card is. Bam, the lovers. Wow. Holy macaroni. This lover's card has just been popping out. It doesn't matter what deck I use. Okay, so what we got here is the lovers, the four of swords, and the eight of wands. Which these are contradictory in a way because <laughs> this is, you know, about resting and this is about fast moving energy. But what I'm seeing for you is there's been a lot of healing going on, uh, Leo. You're working on yourself. You've been doing a lot of healing and you're ready to, to, to move forward. Let's get some clarification on each one of these cards. Can I get a card for the lovers, please? Card for the lovers. <gasps> Ace of Swords. So that's a new beginning. So if you are not in a relationship, there could be one coming. And it could be an air sign, which is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You got some air coming in, Leo. You've got some air. Now let's see what else we have here. So four swords. Can we get a clarifier on the four swords, please? Clarifier on the four swords. Five of coins. <laughs> and the king of cups for the eight of wands. For the ace of swords, like I said, that's a new beginning. It's a new energy coming in. It's a new something starting with love. Uh, it could be something that you love to do. Or it could be something that... Uh, or it could be someone coming in. So we've got two scenarios with that. For this, in relationship to this first card, what I'm seeing for you is, and the imagery on the five of coins is different than imagery on, uh, typically in the Rider way in other decks, you see two figures hunched over in the cold, and with Cyril Marchetti, there was, there's a reason why he did the five of coins this way. It is a church window and the coin is kind of, the coins are lined up on the window, but then there's another one in the hand. And it's basically being grateful for what you, he was basically looking for an image about being grateful about remembering what you lost, but appreciating what you have. That's the message. Remembering what you lost, but appreciating what you have. And this is a five energy. And so you've got four or five. So this is a cycle where you are moving from healing and realizing what you have. So I feel like there's a major growth thing happening with you, Leo. In my chest, I feel like a very grateful feeling. Like you're coming to realize that you have a lot of abundance in your life already, Leo. I feel like when you were looking at the negative side before, take it where it resonates, this might not apply to you, but you might have been looking in the past or looking at the negative before for things that you cannot change. But what you didn't realize is during all this growth and time that's passed from whatever happened to you to now, you have a lot of abundance. But you, it's like almost like you weren't paying attention, like you were asleep. You've done a lot of healing and now you realize wow, I, I do have a very full life or I have a lot to be thankful for or something, or there's something there that you didn't realize was there, Leo. You didn't realize that this person or thing in your life, and I say thing, I don't mean it was inanimate. It could be something, you know, energy-wise, a commitment a friendship or something that you value that you valued but you didn't realize how much value it actually had you you're realizing it now 
you weren't paying attention because you're so focused on what happened in the past. Now you're moving forward and healing and saying, oh, wait, this has been around for, I don't know, I'm throwing out five years, three years, two years, 10 years. And I never really gave it the attention or the value that it actually has because I was too focused on the past. But anyway, take it where it resonates. Moving on to the king and the eight. So what I see for you is things are going to be moving fast for you now because you had this realization, Leo. If this resonates with you, like I said, um, if it doesn't, you can check out other videos on 811 Moon or other videos on YouTube for Leo. But what I see is it's an emotional growth for you. It's been emotional growth. And I think that's why you're. this is coming in. I think that if you're in a relationship, it's going to level up with this Ace of Swords. You're going to be on a new intellectual level. Or if you are not in a relationship, this growth pattern that you've had, that's going to be moving, things are going to be moving fast now for you and it's going to be very emotional, is going to bring in some new energy for you because now you're not stuck in this five. This five can be, these. this five, any five in the deck can be very, it can be a very stagnant energy if it's not nurtured and taken care of. If you don't heal this five energy or understand what it means to actually, because I mean, we say thank you all the time. Or we, or we talk about gratitude or we talk about, oh yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful, you know, for whatever. But I think on a cellular level almost in your spirit, like, on a cellular level in your in your spirit, I don't know why I'm saying it that way, but that's the way it's coming out. You are realizing what gratitude actually is. That you have your life ahead of you or you have all these things to be grateful for and to live in the now instead of worrying about what happened in the past. And now you're going to have a snowball effect from this, Leo. You're going to be seeing a lot of changes and a lot of positivity. Can we get any more information for Leo? I feel like this is a very personal thing too. You need to love, you're loving yourself, Leo. You're able to let new love in or you're able to nurture love that already exists in your relationship. I feel like your relationship, if you're in one, is going to move to a new level or it's going to be more comfortable. I do. I really feel like it's going to be like, really like, I didn't realize how, how happy and comfortable I was. Hold on. Let's see. Four of coins. So you've got another stability card. So you've got two fours. And this is a separate message from everything I've just said. Uh, if you have been worried about money, it is time now to watch your spending. If you have been worried about money or money, or you realize that money is dwindling away, you know, you know, the holidays are coming. If you celebrate them and you buy a lot of gifts and stuff, you know, use discernment on that because you've got the four two fours and the five of coins, I would definitely, this is a separate message. You know yourself, you know how you spend, you know what your pocketbook looks like. Take it where it resonates. If you've been overspending or you feel like you're worried about money, definitely rein it in because uh, you got those cards. But let's see, anything else for Leo? Anything else for Leo? Um, nine of cups. This is confirming your growth here, Leo. Because once you have that Nine of Cups happiness, all your other relationships will, will, will do better or seem better or feel better uh, for you. So that's beautiful. Nine of Cups energy. Raise that glass to happiness. Well, Leo, I wish you the best with this. And I, if this resonated with you, please click the like and subscribe. And please, if you... Uh, watch this video to the end. Please leave a cup of some kind at the bottom because you did get the nine of cups at the end of the reading. Uh, a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, um, a glass of water, whatever emoji you can find. And if this resonated and you want to leave a comment, please do. I'd love to hear about your growth if you want to share or anything about relationships or things like that that you um, that resonated with you in this reading. So. Leo, I wish you the best, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.